Good morning guys. It is bright and early so it's still a little bit dark outside um, but I'm up and ready because we are heading out um, today for a little staycation for our nine year anniversary which honestly is just insane. I remember the day where I used to think how will I ever be with a boy for more than a year? <laughs> and here we are. Um, and the other thing is, <clears throat> I don't think I ever told you guys because it was just wrapped up in the craziness of Christmas. Um, but when we were getting all of that boarding done and the plastering upstairs, we got a leak. Oh, we got another leak. Um, so what happened was when we put up that wall between um, the two rooms, we think that we had some movement in the shower above and the leak was coming in the weirdest place. So you know our upstairs like walk-in shower where there's a little step up? It was coming outside of that, so like outside of the shower. At first we thought, oh, um, have the plasters like gone through one of the pipes or something? But we couldn't figure it out. It was like a real mystery. So we ended up basically cleaning down the whole shower, taking out all of the silicone and everything, and hope that there was just like a crack with the movement and so there was some water getting through somewhere. And there was, thankfully, we think that we fixed it last night. Um, we just literally re siliconed the whole of the bottom and it doesn't seem to be leaking, which I'm really, really glad of because um, we have been showering all the way downstairs like in the room next to me um for about like two two months now of course with our windows out so to get back upstairs we have to go through the house where there's no windows it's been chilly anyway so yeah good good start to the day i also just wanted to say a really big thank you for all of your lovely messages on my previous video it has been so nice and honestly more healing than i expected i was quite nervous to uh, kind of know the reaction that i would get you never know with putting yourself online and that's not with necessarily my community but i have to say i was overwhelmed with all of the love and every message um was lovely and honestly, I'm not easily that offended, but not one of them offended me. So um, yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, we're feeling, I think, the month of January has been a much better month for us. Lots of positive things have happened. It's like the new year, fresh start. And um, also with that, I've been really leaning into healing myself more than anything. And today I've actually got an acupuncture appointment and that's something that I took on a few months ago and have been loving, loving, loving um, because I feel like the one thing that's maybe not said enough and especially because the NHS don't give any aftercare is um, the balancing of your hormones and your body after a miscarriage and just frankly knowing things like whether you're low on iron. So I've been focusing on that and I know that um, since my kind of like luteal phase, I have like a really hard period that I never got before. So I'm trying to fix that with my acupuncturist um, and I really, really enjoy going to see him. It's a little bit more of like part, can I say part therapy? Um, but obviously they have to really get to know you and that, that has also been healing for me too. So, Lots going on today. First things first, um, I need to have some breakfast and then I'm going to go ahead and do my nails. They're looking pretty good at the moment but I've had them on for a little while now, not gonna lie. Probably gonna do a very similar colour because I love, I love this kind of berry colour at this time of the year. Our fridge is actually pretty bare at the moment but my go-to breakfast this yogurt is the only reason, well not the only reason I go to Waitrose, but this is amazing stuff. With blueberries and some seeds, love it. Thankfully it's starting to brighten up so I'm not just in darkness. I'm going to whip my nail varnish off. I'm now only using manicurist for my nails, so if you ever see me with nail varnish on, it's only ever manicurist. I adore the brand and the products that they make. So um, I've had these on for about 10 days now, over 10 days, they're still looking pretty good. But just before we go away, I want to put on a new pair. Um, this is their nail varnish remover. It smells gorgeous. And it literally, though their nail varnishes stay, um, for over 10 days, they're really wonderfully long wearing. 
they only take about 30 seconds to get them off so unlike gels where they're a nightmare to get off your nails these come off so easily I'll show you let me just whip these on and the nicest thing about that is that it's so easy to do at home wonderful for if like today you're popping away and you just want to change your colour or have a refresh um, you're not having to go into a salon and one of my main main reasons for doing it is that they have um, no nasty toxins which is something that I'm really trying to get out of my life and that was a really conscious switch over for me with my health let me just get that one on looks a little like that just wait about 30 seconds I'll show you my setup in the meantime so this is what makes the magic happen. So this is Green Flash and it is the world's first at-home plant-based gel alternative um, which uses LED polish manicure routine. So it's cured with this LED lamp um, and that's what makes it last for up to 10 days. And then I've got some of these lovely new colours here uh, which are like the lovely reds for the new year which I'm mostly wearing through January. And these are um, formulated, they're 84% plant-based so they're used with ingredients like potatoes, um, wheat, cotton, so you know that what you're putting on your body um, is much more natural um, than the products that you can get on the high street or when you're going for a manicure. And I can get this done in about 20 minutes, which is really handy for me because I might have days where I'm doing painting, a bit of DIY, my nails are looking a bit tatty, so it's something that I can do quite quickly. So hopefully you can see now, if I just pop this one off, how it starts coming off. Um, ooh, so it's already falling off, you can see. It just peels off. I love it. Absolutely insane how easily it comes off. Um, especially and even with these deeper colours. So I've just given it a good rub. And it's gone. Now they're off to start again. You pop on the base coat. And actually um, you can get the full kit pro. Um, which I went for. That gives you everything you need to get started. Um, so the base coat, the top coat, the lamp. Um, the little clips so that you can take off the nail varnish too and um, the process is really easy so you just put this base coat on which goes on like a dream then you set that under the lamp um, for one minute then one layer of whichever top coat colour you pick as I said this is the pomegranate colour hopefully you can see just how easy that is to go on that goes under the lamp for a minute then you go in with a second coat of your colour and then that one has another minute under the lamp. Last but not least, set them with the top coat. This takes two minutes under the little lamp um, and then they're all good to go. Um, the nail varnish, you can buy them from their website. They're actually made in France, so Manicurist is from Paris. Um, but there are also in shops like Liberty, they're also on Cult Beauty, so a lot of lovely brands. I will link all of their information um, down below, so their website, also this kit that I have here, and uh, any discount that I have too for you guys. And yeah, I would highly recommend checking out their website, definitely as well, um, looking at all of their reviews, because I know it can be a bit daunting to invest in a full new set, uh, but I really made the choice mostly for health reasons um, and I haven't looked back because it gives me as good a nails as when I was going to get them done professionally in a salon and obviously long term this is going to be much more cost effective too. So that goes under for two minutes now. All done, now I'm ready to go. We've decided to come and do some shopping this morning which actually we never do. Nope. Um, we're gonna head to Neptune first and then maybe even do some clothes shopping. Cook shop. we've, yeah, we've got our eye on a new pan because our non stick thing is peeling off, which isn't great. So, we're gonna try and go for a stainless steel pan, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Gonna have a look in the cook shop and yeah, hopefully, grab some lunch and then we'll be heading to the pig, um, which I'll show you around when we're there. It's a beautiful day again, it's like beautiful bright blue skies it's a lovely time to see bath um it's been i feel like didn't we get i'm sure you said didn't we get like 80 percent of all of our rainfall in the first few days of january or something yeah 
yeah, eighty percent of rainfall within the. I think it was the first two weeks or so. Um, yeah, a lot of rain. We've had a lot of rain here, so it feels amazing to have so much sun- sunshine, and we've got it sunny tomorrow as well. So we've been very lucky. It is, however, very, very cold. Cold. Very, very cold. <laughs> For us, anyway, cold for us here in the UK. (laughs) What Ollie is interested in when I come shopping with him. Endless photos like this on his phone. I haven't actually seen this kitchen here. I don't think it was here last time we came, but it looks a lot like our second-hand kitchen at home. Um, same colouring, dark top, and also some light cupboards. We are dreaming about kitchens at the moment, by the way and solutions. This? I think this is a bit too complicated though. It airs on the side of like, too, too busy. I think you have to move- Too many functions. You have to move too many things to get to other things. Yeah. The drawers. I mean the drawers are like- It's all built beautifully. And then then you have to come in quite, you're like quite far back. It's a bit claustrophobic in there. Can't take him anywhere without asking for a tape measure. How wide? It's the Neptune store. That is what we're desperate to know. That's for me, Dad. What to do there? You do it all the way. Still a little car. Wait, so that's what we currently have. No, ours is like maybe like 3.9. 3.97. Currently? Yeah, it's like 4 meters currently. So we only come to. Yeah, so we only come to there. You will never have been. But I feel like it's a bit deceptive though. Because but like, that's without the other Yeah, but that, that's going to there. Yeah, you've got all the like space. Just like you've got that. space going that way and you've got that bit in there. Mm. So if you bought... Yeah, if you bought it all in there. Like, the back wall of the... We're trying to decide whether to extend our house. This here we have measured is the size of our current kitchen. So imagine if we knocked down our bathroom and threw into our snug, this would basically be the space that we would get. And it's actually a lot bigger than we thought because we've been thinking about doing a side return. Now a side return would add probably about that much more space for us. So it would make it a really good space. But this is bigger in itself than we thought and obviously would save us a lot of money. Take some pictures of the general space and take some pictures of like these distances. Yeah. I'm just going to call it dreaming at the moment, but we're certainly doing a lot of dreaming about new kitchens with hopes that it may not be in the too distant future. Good news is, is that extension or not, there were wonderful ideas in there for either. Um, Two of the rooms were almost perfect sizing. I mean, it's so much easier to visualize what it'd be like. Yeah. So one of them was perfect if we didn't extend and one of them was the perfect size if we did extend. So we could totally visualize and hopefully see uh, what we could achieve. And we also picked up a chopping board. Got a lovely new bag, we love their bags. Um, to symbolize this new exciting Dream. kitchen the adventure. Commitment. The commitment to a new kitchen. <laughs> yeah. which very perfectly matches the room, but I thought I'd show you this room. It has the most fabulous wallpaper. 
So our front door's actually all the way back here. And we have wardrobes. But you enter the room here. You come in, the bed is to the left. The most gorgeous bed. So I'm actually working um, on Instagram with Tiel, who um, I've worked with before. They have the most gorgeous dressing gowns. But they also supply all of the nice hotels or what i think of as the nice hotels um with things like bedding and pillows and duvets so for the pig which is one of our absolute favorites they supply their gorgeous um pillows and also duvets so that is why we've been very lucky to come and have this day and their beds honestly are the most comfortable thing so i'm definitely going home to purchase we need some new pillows so i'm thinking about some new pillows anyway I got, <laughs> I've got one of them on. I love the idea of this like light over the bed here. It just makes it so cozy. I've got the lovely little switches down here and the wallpaper. Isn't this a stunning wallpaper? Just gorgeous. I love all of the lovely flowers. And then they've tied in, the, I've messed this around now, but they've tied in all of the colors. So they've got the mustard color, lovely pleated light. And I also just adore, I have to say, I adore the lace curtains and how they're um, kind of like reflected with the sun. We have a view over here. I'm not sure if you can see there, the deer in the background. Um, some of them full on are like reindeer, they've got antlers, so beautiful. And then for my absolute dream, the room opens up and you've got this sensational bath. I mean, this literally is just a room for a bath, um, because <laughs> Ollie's in the actual bathroom there. Hello. Um, I ran a bath, that is why I'm in my dressing gown. I just, just to like chill out in the bathroom, can you even imagine, with gorgeous views over the sweetie. Beautiful, beautiful room. I just love how homely the pigs are. It just feels like home from home, like you're staying with family, friends, or something like that. We've got dinner booked tonight for 7.45. I think the weather is looking so gorgeous. I think we might actually go out for a little walk because I feel like there's gonna be a really beautiful sunset. I may be popping in the bath just before that though, just, just know, because I haven't had a bath now. Well, I can't remember. And mine still wasn't in for Christmas, so I'm taking this as my Christmas present. Chopping board and picked up the Neptune. So hopefully, going on the kitchen one day soon. Soon, that's what I'm saying. I love this colour because we've got a bit of a darker wood in our kitchen. So we picked up that one. This is kind of like the flooring or the wood colour that we'd go for. I may have already taken a nibble of these. Nobody will know. We've come for a little walk. Um, the deer are all moving away from us as we walk. <laughs> But where are they? Here's the main building. No, there it is behind us. It's really beautiful actually. And it's a lot like Babington House, which would make sense because they're both Somerset. Yeah, quite close. Um, very similar buildings. I'll show you. So the road is just really picked up. He's gorgeous there. I wonder if he's looking right at us. He's having a nice scratch on the tree. The weather is just beautiful though boys being boys he wants to go over the cattle gate i won't leave any remarks about that <laughs> we're now at their mushroom hut which is just insane they've got these lovely yellow mushrooms in there love the little sign the weather is just uh oh, sunset's gonna be amazing and um just over here, they've got the little piggies and also the kitchen garden, which I'll show you. And oh, was there a walk through there? Yeah. Can I carry on going? This is the kitchen garden and they've got these gorgeous little buildings that you can stay in um, away from the main house. And then down here is the spa. And they just have these little huts um, as like little spa treatment rooms. I bet it's lovely in the summer, but I'm not so sure in the winter. And we found an ollie in the garden. 
I mean, it literally is a spitting image. Same coat. Can you tell the difference? <laughs> You'd make a good scarecrow. Sadly, time to check out. Our room is looking so gorgeous this morning with the light streaming in. It's making me very excited to go back and finish off our room, especially the windows. The windows here have obviously been slightly renovated, but I presume this place might be grade two listed. So, um, so they might have had to have kept the old windows, but I think our windows are gonna look pretty, pretty good in comparison. I mean, there is a beauty to them looking a bit dipped in. I'm looking so shiny because it's so warm, but our plan for today is to actually hang around for a little bit. We're gonna sit in one of their lounges um, and relax, look at all the furry friends, it's something that we've been keeping an eye on basically since we got married, but the right pup hasn't come into our lives yet. So um, we're waiting, but we're happy to wait for the right one. We're gonna look at that, look at some house things, and then have some lunch here, and then probably later on head back maybe um, head to Cribs Causeway because we've got a few things to change. Um, I got me some Ugg slippers, but bless him. He was adamant that I had a size five because I had those boots and I usually go down a size, in fairness to him, in Uggs. Um, way back when they used to do half sizes and I was five and a half anyway. <laughs> They're the wrong size. So we might look at changing them on the way back. We really tried to prolong that. It is quarter to three. <laughs> um, and we had a wonderful time. We just sat by the fire and had tea. And then we had some wonderful food. The, the food is amazing at the pig. Um, we had a nice lunch. And I have discovered that a Moscow Mule is maybe my number one drink. Um, but I actually had a virgin one and it tasted so good. So, sorry, I think my fluffy thing was down into that. Um, we're gonna try and find some of the ingredients. That's gonna be annoying because that is the sound. <laughs> Sorry if you didn't hear any of that. Um, yeah, it's been been a wonderful stay, hasn't it? Really nice. Happy nine years. Nine years. Um, and I am actually myself, even though I have worked for them. Um, we're gonna be looking at the TL pillows when we get back, aren't we? Yeah. Because um, we need to renew ours anyway. So I will link all of that information down below when you stay in a hotel. We always feel it. We're always like, we want this bed. We want this good night's sleep at I'm, home. I end up untucking the sheets at the side of the mattress. Be like, where's the mattress from? This yes. is really good. Yes. Where can I find it? Um, so, yeah, it's, it's always nice to know the little insights. Because actually, I know as a company, I used to know that they supplied a lot of luxury hotels. But I didn't know the ones that they did supply. And the list is like... Good. Real good, really good. real good. Um, so that's that's a nice nice little tip to know if if you're looking for any good bedding because yeah it's such an important part of life, isn't it? All right, you spend most of your life sleeping. Good night's sleep. So yes, we're going to be uh, trying to achieve that bed in our new bedroom. Now we're on to do a bit more shopping. This has been a very not us kind no. of time. Yeah, um, we still got some things we want to pick up that we didn't find in Bath, so we're going to go to Cribs Causeway. We're going to go to Cribs, see if we can get them. Have a little look in there, and then head home, pick up the ingredients Ooh. for Moscow Mules. Yes! Yum, yum, yum. My car keeps saying it's unhappy. 
Yeah, it's got a low battery. It's got a low battery. We won't talk about that. <laughs> We're back. Just to warn you before scaring you, I've got a face mask on. They look terrifying. Um, we didn't get anything at Cribs. Always the same for us, isn't it? We Always going to look anymore. and then never buy. But we have now got... They don't look right. It's like a virgin Moscow mule, but without some of the ingredients. Because we read the ingredients for a proper Moscow mule. Yeah. And it missed off some things. So hopefully it doesn't taste too bad. Anyway, cheers. Cheers. Yeah, that's not the same. Not quite the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, recommendations, please let us know. It's not like I'm sure it was more lemony at his the one that he did, yeah. the bartender that we had. I also think there wasn't that much of the ginger beer. That's just like ginger beer with some lime. I can't even really taste the mint in it. I either. think we should put some tonic in it. We didn't get basically the um, virgin ones had put some like um, club soda, club soda, or, soda water. or sparkling. Water. Water. We've only got tonic, tonic water has quite a tonic taste to it. Yeah, but it might just. We've also it. got no eyes, which I think like waters <laughs> it down as well. Yeah. Um, it's certainly not as pretty. Anyway, I will um pick you up again tomorrow. We're just gonna have some dinner, watch some TV. We we're not really watching much at the moment. And we did go and see at the cinema though. We went to go and see Otto, and that was so adorable. Really enjoyed that. Very, very good feel good movie if you want something uplifting. uplifting to watch. Anyway, I'm sure you can't take me seriously. This is one of the Dr. Jart face masks. I actually used it um, on our wedding morning, um, the moisturizing serum for it. Um, and I love it. My skin gets so dry in January, so giving it a little love. And you look like the lady from that horror film we watched. Yeah, it's a bit scary, isn't it? <laughs> Oh no! No. Okay, on that note, <laughs> I'm going to live the dream, face mask on, Moscow Mule in hand. See you tomorrow. Bye. putting off doing a workout I put on my clothes and then sat on the sofa so that's going really really well had a lovely bunch of flowers which I'm just looking at which arrived from all today I'll show you they're from a company um, which I've admired on Instagram for a while honestly they're too big to fit into any of my vases but I didn't want to take them apart just yet but I think I'm gonna have to separate them out I love that they have some really unusual flowers in them these are so beautiful um, the little roses and then they've also got tulips in there loads of beautiful textures um, Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to decant them a little bit It's not usual, but he did spoil me a little bit this anniversary. He ordered the Uggs, which I've actually got on in my size, bless him. Um, but I loved the colour. I'm definitely in my comfy home body phase where I just need all the right footwear for at home. So I've got these for like when I'm getting out of bed and going to the shower. And then I've got my boots, which I wear when I'm like for home for the day. And these, which are so clever, these have been really popular. Um, little chain your airpods um so that you can put them around your neck and these i was looking at them but i particularly was after these um which um are magnetic if i can get them to go so they stick on your neck so you don't lose them <laughs> i'll actually also did ford think and got me a cheaper um wire one as well that i could wear when doing the diy and there's a white and black one so i think he'll have one too i got him some boots but I actually think he's exchanging them he's been after these boots for such a long time like lusting over them and I finally bought them for him and he tried them on and he was like oh actually they're not quite what I expected um so we'll be finding him a new pair of those um as well as some um, gloves that he needed for a scooter and stuff so it's been really nice it's been really lovely actually and to top it all off we actually went to see a little puppy oh Oh my gosh, he was absolutely adorable. Not a little pup for us. Um, 
timing wise we would have loved to finish the windows in the house but there's never a perfect time for anything is there so definitely on the cards which is exciting anyway i think this video is plenty long enough now i will see you next week i think that would video will be when we start painting so i'll see you all then hope you've had a wonderful week bye